indicating some of that lightning there. Temperatures right now in Talladega 67 degrees. Although the rain is pretty much dried up in the city of Talladega, heavy rainfall is inching its way closer to that Georgia Alabama state line. You can see that boundary lifting up to Nashville and kind of scattered showers and thunderstorms across the deep south. This is kind of a product of this summertime air mass. So Here's this one line of thunderstorms from Arab, Albertville, Gadsden, Anniston, down through Lineville and Roanoke and Wadawi. Heavy rainfall lining up right along that Georgia Alabama state line from basically Interstate 20 to Interstate 85. Rainfall totals today. When we talk about isolated storms, this is what we mean. Anniston rainfall totals today. Almost two inches, whereas Birmingham had hardly any measurable rain. Coleman had just shy of two tenths of an inch. Calera didn't have much, but when you look at the maps over the last 48 hours, you can definitely see who wins. Now, this is radar indicated. This is not actual rain in a bucket, but two and a half inches in Anniston there, about an inch in Gardendale, but again, down to Birmingham, not as much. So this is going to be the trend in the coming days with some of these thunderstorms as well. Looking ahead to tomorrow, the severe weather outlook looks more impressive out in the midsection of the nation. There is a marginal risk for some showers and really storms much like we had tonight. So that's what we'll be tracking very closely. So for tonight, our rain chances will start to dwindle. Temperatures overnight will be in the 60s. Cloudy start to our day. Peaks of sunshine. It's about as good as we'll get early in the morning. Notice temperatures tomorrow not quite as warm as they were today, and I actually am going to adjust the forecast just a little bit for Thursday. Still keeping the same amount of coverage in the forecast, but I'm really confining it to the evening hours. This much more organized band of thunderstorms arrives after sunset and continues through central and east Alabama from about 8 p.m. tomorrow to around midnight Friday morning. Temperatures starting out the day on Friday will be in the 60s, topping out near 90 as we round out the week. We are going to see some isolated showers on Friday, but fortunately it does start to dry out for us just a bit as we move into the weekend. But with it drying out, it heats up. Look at these heat index values. Those feels like temperatures in the mid 90s. It's going to be a hot one this weekend. 90s on Mother's Day. And that's your storm team.